I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I believe it should not be confusing or expensive for your business to accept credit cards. As a social enterprise business advocate, my mission gets you paid faster with fair rates, helping your business grow. We can be contacted at area code 804-503-8472, 804-503-8472, or at getbeyond.com. Again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy. Quick, easy collect. We make it easier than you expect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Mike King Biz here, ESPN Rich 106.1. It is Tuesday, so you know what that means. We got the man in the building. Tom Trudy is back for the tenacious top of mind topic Tuesday. Tom, welcome. Thank you, Mike. It's good to be here. See, I just let I just start when I let that go, I just boom because you know it took me long enough to get it, but I got it. I'm sharp. It's army army sharp. You did well. Thank you. Not not the Air Force. No, Army. All right, Tom Children, you are a sponsor of the program. Thank you and welcome. Always a pleasure. All righty, you help us talk to folks out there in the street. Tell us who Tom Children is, what it, what's going on in the streets, and then you're going to jump on the topic for Tuesday. All right, thank you, Mike. So I'm Tom Children, the credit card guy. I help businesses set up POS systems and make it easy for their customers to pay them with a credit card. And in my role as a business advocate, I get out and I talk to hundreds of businesses and find out, you know, what they need, what's going on at the street level, not necessarily what you see on CNN or MSNBC or Fox, but the street level, the people that are actually living it and growing their businesses and working. And I get information from them and I share it with other people and just help everybody grow. On a micro mic, and how can people find you out there, Tom Children, the credit card guy? Um, the easiest way is to call or text me. My number is 804 503 Visa, like the credit card, 804 503 8472. Call or text. And if you put courage in the text, I have a free ebook that I'll send you today that's about today's topic courage, courage. and vulnerability. Courage and vulnerability. That's what you're covering today. You are, I always ask you, what, what are the streets saying, man? The streets are saying that um, there's a, a tremendous amount of enthusiasm now. Um, things picked up. Um, after Tuesday? After Tuesday. Um, people just want the government to get out of their way so they can do their thing and interact with other people and not have to worry about that. So people are, um, are happier and more enthusiastic. And I think um, things are moving in the right direction. All people are happier? No. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about America. It is. There's always going to be some people that aren't happy. Tomorrow, tomorrow, like the song said. Yeah. We'll come back and do it again tomorrow. All righty. So like they always say, all politics is business. It plays a part in it. And uh, people spoke. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to see what that does for the business community. All righty. Courage and vulnerability is the tenacious top of mind topic today with Tom Childry. All right. So when you think about courage and you think about vulnerability, they almost sound like two separate things, two separate people. But in reality, they're just the other side of the same coin. Everybody has both. So when we go out and we look for business people and we look at other people, we search for people who have that courageous attitude. So we look for that in others before we'll share the vulnerability that we have. So when I go talk to businesses, you know, I get the guy, like the other day I went and talked to a guy, he's an auto mechanic and, you know, he was in the army. And so we, you know, we, we bantered like you and I do about the services. And, you know, when it came down to it, he was like, okay, he's kind of hard nosed. Oh, I mean, I'm not, but as we got talking, he realized, you know what? Some of these people have been with me Tom Children here. Say that, folks. That's what happens when you're he a man was, of the people. He was calling me to yeah, exactly to, to give thank me for t talking about him. But what happened <laughs> is he was really after a while, you know, the the facade came down and the vulnerability came out. He was like worried 
that some of these people that have been with him for over 15 years is, you know, he's responsible for their families, for their, for their job. He was concerned that things were going to change and it was going to have a negative impact on him and his business. And he's been worried for a couple of years. Then he went through Tuesday. He felt better about that, but there's still a long way to go to get back to where we were, where the economy was rolling. And, you know, so we had to have that conversation. Here's the, the vulnerability that he had, but he didn't know me. So we had to talk and we had to get to know each other. And on the second or third visit, we start to, you know, the, the, the courage part comes down and the vulnerability, the real person comes out. It's like, look, yeah, I need help with this. And I'm a business advocate. So my role as a business advocate, I introduced him to some people that could help him with payroll and making sure that um, he was able to keep those employees on by bringing in new customers. Tom Children is here with the sponsor of the program. I'd like to thank him for that. He is a business advocate. So what you're saying is you always talk about people don't go in business, you know, one, they're not making a ton of money, but there's a lot of responsibility that they have to keep the doors open. Because like you said, he felt responsible for people and their families. And so as a business owner, a lot of times people don't put that together. Sure. They don't. They just, just like, okay, well, business owner, you have all the money and all of that. But in reality, you are, you're responsible for people's families out there as a business owner. And you help them be more efficient doing that. Sure. So a lot of times, most business owners out there can relate to this is there have been times in their business where payday came along and they had to put their own paycheck back in the drawer so they could make sure they paid their employees. Um, children dropping nuggets. And so, knowledge so with there, that you there, speak on that all the time. Yeah. So there's, I've, I've, I've rarely met a business that didn't have to do that once or twice but they always remember having had to do that. So, you know, people that are not in business that have a job, okay, they think, oh, you own your own business. You have tons of money and tons of free time, where the reality is if you own a business, depending on where you are in that business, just getting started the first couple of years, you have a tremendous amount of overtime and no overtime pay. So, you know, you're, you're growing something that creates jobs versus somebody else that has a job. Like I'll give you, give you another example. So on Friday, if your mentality is I'm an employee, lunchtime, you're already out the door. It's a rat. Yes. It's like, I'm putting in, hope the boss doesn't see me, but you're already gone at five o'clock on Friday the business owner is still working most of the time. So when I need to talk to them, I'm calling them three o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. And we're having the real conversation. Because that's when the magic happens as the business owner, that is the business owner mentality. Yeah. The, the business owner mentality is money never sleeps. You know, they're, they're either focused on making it or they're worried about it or thinking about it. You get to a certain point where it's not worry, it's planning, but every level has a different devil. Mm, I never heard that one. Well, think about it. When you, when you first start your business and say it's a landscaping business, so you got a lawnmower and a weed eater and, and a rake, you're in the landscape business now. And you put up one of the magnetic signs on your truck. So you you go out and you're doing that. And all you have really to worry about is like, I got to get gas. I got to make sure I have this. Got to do a good job. Got to make sure they, they pay me. But when you start having two or three people working for you, doing the work, now you got to make sure, well, they got, these people got to pay me because I have to pay on Friday. That money, and money stays in motion. You know, it's not like you get that money and you can, hide it in your mattress, you get that money, then you have to spend it. That's what spurs the economy. So, you know, you have different levels and, and at each of those levels, there's a responsibility. It's like I saw Steve Harvey saying, you know, people come up to him and say, Oh, you got it made. You, you know, you must not have nothing to worry about. And he's like, money doesn't, you know, prevent you from worrying about things. You know, money is an amplifier. You know, it's like if you're a nice person and you have lots of money, 
you're going to continue to be a nice person. But if you're kind of a jerk, you have a bigger stack, a bigger platform to be more of a jerk. Exactly. So, you know, everybody at every level has a different devil and they're dealing with it differently. And sometimes they get to where it's like a glass ceiling and they feel like, how am I ever going to get past this? And the reality is they can get past that by talking to somebody else. When you say, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom Childry, the credit card guy, sponsor the program. And he always says, you don't have to figure out every situation. You don't. There's a person out there who's going through what you're going through and they have the answer. Exactly. Talk to them. Exactly. So it's, it's not always, how do I fix this problem? How do I resolve this problem? It's who, number one, who do you have to grow and become to get through this? Okay. And number two, who do you need to talk to who's already gone through that and can help you get through it? You're in chapter seven of your book and you're struggling, but somebody else is on chapter 15 and they remember chapter seven. They're like, oh, you know, Mike, have you ever tried this? Have you ever tried that? When you're talking to the business owner, and you like the guy you said there was more, he was more courage than vulnerability. Do you see when the light bulb goes off? You're like the person starts to get it. Yeah. A lot. And what happens when they start to get it? When they start to get it, they 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 start to realize, yeah, maybe, maybe somebody else can share information with me that can help me. You d- you don't have to figure everything else out on your own. You know, it's like if if you if you have a good marriage, you know, you're going to go home and, and share information with your spouse, significant other, whatever, and know that they're going to give you support. And I was always raised that, you know, do you want to feel good or do you want answers when you have a problem? So do you want the straight okay, let answer? Me, let me ask you this. What do you think most people, I always say teams and people they're cheerleaders and coaches. Coaches go with the team. They're part of the team. Whether the cheerleaders go or not, that's debatable. So when you talk to people, do you think the people want the real answers or do you think a lot of times they want something to make them feel good? I think sometimes they want the feel good because they want the shortcut and they don't want to hear the harsh reality. But the harsh reality is coming. The harsh reality is, is coming. The harsh reality is, says that you have to pick your crew. You have to pick your tribe and rule with them. Because like you said, you don't have to, in, you don't have to invent the wheel. The wheel is already round and it's going. You just have to talk to the person. And Tom Children is a guy who knows the guy, the networking thing. You are a master at, you have an understanding of, of relationships as well. Let's touch on, on how that plays into uh, the topic that we're talking about today. Okay, so the, the, the importance of the topic is you have to have, all of us have to have someone that we can confide in, someone that we can talk to, that we know will give us the real information. You know, it's, it's like if you have, you know, you see somebody and they've got an entourage full of, you know, 15 or 20 people, and they're paying the bill for all those people, those people are going to tell them what they want to hear. So they can continue getting paid. Yeah. So they can continue to get paid. They're not going to tell them what they need to hear necessarily. And then they're spending all that money. And next thing you know, they're broke. I remember uh, Oprah saying to MC Hammer, one guy should not take care of 50 people. That's right. And that's, there's only one income coming in and 50 are living off of that. Yeah. So it's just a matter of time for that person's going to be broke, you know, and you, and you look at, like using the the um, sports analogy, I saw a, a thing where Kobe Bryant was talking about when he first got to the Lakers, he didn't like Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson ended up going, but Kobe was smart enough to realize that he needed Phil Jackson, and they made up. And what happened? Two championships. You got that right. All righty. So Tom Childry is here. So you can find him. This is Tenacious Top of Mind Topic Tuesday. Tom Childry is here. Uh, he is here with us on Tuesdays Talking Wisdom. He is out here making big things happen in a community, supporting the community. He is a business advocate. 
We're going to take a break. We will be back on the other side. Hi, this is Andy with Junk Luggers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tenacious Top of Mind Topic Tuesday. Tom Childry is here with us. ESPN Richmond 106.1 is where you find us. He is here every Tuesday talking about business, uh, business advocacy topics. And today we're talking about courage and vulnerability. And so, Tom, welcome back. Thank you, Mike. All righty. Uh, continue, sir. The floor is yours. All right. Thank you. So as we talk with business owners, you know, the, the different challenges come, some come from COVID. And in the 33 years that I've been doing this, I find that there's always something that comes up. This year, last year happened to be the pandemic, but there's always things that come up and businesses and people need to be able to have a, a methodology that they can use to get through those things. So one of the tools that we share with a lot of businesses is to make sure that you have your list of advisors and resources. You know, it's like if you're, if the plumbing went out in your house and, and the commode was overflowing, you would call a plumber. If you had no electricity, you would call the electrician. You know, so if you have business issues, you know, you can't just avoid them. You know, you know, the problem does not go away. Right. Money problems, medical problems, and marital problems don't go away when you ignore them. So like Jeremy will tell you, if you have a tax problem and you get a letter from the IRS, the fact that you ignored it does not mean that they're not still coming for you. True. Because they are relentless. But if you take a proactive approach to dealing with those things, and it may not be, how are you going to get through? Again, it's who. I have to be vulnerable enough to call an expert, but you have to call an expert. So it's making sure that you are comfortable with yourself to seek advice from someone else. Tom Children here dropping nuggets of knowledge on us, talking about things that are important to you. So, Tom, what's the number one thing that you're seeing business owners are are neg negligent on as they move forward into 2022? I wouldn't necessarily say that they're negligent on, Mike, but I think what happens is people focus on one or the other things. One is they're trying to get in as many new customers as they can and make as much more new revenue as they can. And in doing that, they lose sight of what is it costing them to generate that revenue? So it's important to also look at how do you keep your costs in check at the same time that you're drawing in new revenue? Because if, it if your cost went from 250 to $500 in order to generate a customer that brings in $1,000, you know, ultimately in the long run, you're not going to make as much money as you thought you were going to make. Tom Children here. How can people find you out there, Tom? The easiest way is you can um, phone or text me at area code 804-503-VISA, V-I-S-A, like the credit card, 804-503-8472, or my website is getbeyond.com. And again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy, quick, easy collect. I'll make it easier than you expect. Tom Childry here. He is a guy who knows a guy. He knows a woman too. Who he knows the person who can help you get out of the situation. Example here, uh, our friend Jer uh, Jeremy, could you step up to the microphone, please? Of course. So, good friend Jeremy Lasseter is here, and the name of your business is Tax Resolution Accounting. Tax Resolution Accounting. I go there and introduce them, and what do you guys say? say you know each other. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed out on that. Say that again. Okay, Tom Childry, he knows the person. Oh, yeah, yeah. And where do you know Tom Childry from? The Chesterfield Chamber. Tom Childry is to be is a man who is out and about. That is Chesterfield Chamber. Talk about the importance of the chamber, Jeremy. Yeah, the chamber is just a good way for small business owners that are looking to connect with people because, um, like a guy said earlier, you're in a hub and you come with um, the same mindset and it's just easy to connect with people. 
Tom Trudy. So it's not just the chamber, Tom Trudy. It is getting about being a man of the people. There is a value in that. As you said, one connection at a BNI. What did it do for you, Tom? It, I had one, one introduction that ended up being a, a new customer and I paid my mortgage, <laughs> paid off a, a, a car and a truck and a motorcycle, all with that revenue from that one referral and it's still going. So in other words, both of you guys believe in the power of knowing someone and also being known. One hundred. Uh, okay, so uh, Jeremy, what's uh, words of wisdom as we go into 2022? Tom Childry just said, when you get that letter from the IRS, don't tear it up. Don't stick it under the mattress because it's not going to do you any good. Won't do you no good. Go ahead and um, just contact someone. Just Don't contact someone. Who they need to call? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's someone. Uh, that's, that's Tom someone. Children, he's a new guy. No, no, no. See, he just See, don't get it. Yeah. That someone is Jeremy with Tax Resolution Accounting. That's exactly what I'm saying here. He will take care of you. So as Tom Children, you say, you don't have to invent the wheel. You don't have to be, when you say, I'm on Chapter 7. This person's already on Chapter 15. That's They've right. lived through that. I don't have to go Somebody to else can always help you. And the, the beautiful thing is, especially in the business community and Richmond specifically, the greater Richmond area, is people want to help you. People do. Pe people will do whatever they can to help you because they know that it, whatever, when they help somebody who's a local business person in the community, that's going to come back and help the rest of the community. All right. Mike King here. This, this is old home week for Chesterfield Chamber. Mike King, Jeremy. Tom Childry here. Shout out to all the folks over the chamber. Okay, that's uh, uh, Iris. Iris is there. Ian, as well as Danielle. Thanks to those guys. Uh, one last time, Jeremy, how can people find you, sir? You can find me at taxresolutionaccounting.com. You can uh, find us on um, any social media. And also, uh, you can contact us at 434- 338-7149. So good. contact them before the, before the house burns down and everything goes up. All right, Tom Childry, one last time. I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I can be reached at area code 804-503-8472. And again, I'm Tom, the credit card guy. Quick, easy, collect. I'll make it easier than you expect. And one of these years, I'm going, look, Jeremy, you see, you see the look on your face? Like Jeremy, that. that's exactly what I get every time. <laughs> that's what, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm going to work on. At some point, I will get my spiel down like that, and we can walk away. Tom Children sponsored the program. I'd like to thank him for being that. Jeremy is new on board. Welcome to the family. Thank you. All right. We are almost out of time looking at Stephen A. Smith with a black hat on up there. So the Cowboys. Uh, sorry, y'all. I'm an Eagles fan, but there's no love with my team as well. Uh, we <laughs> It was a rough Sunday. What am I with Mike? We're getting a wrap. We got to go. Take care, folks. We'll talk to you soon. This has been a tenacious top of mind topic Tuesday with the man, Tom Children. See you. Thank you.